Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Turning something off is usually pretty simple. Rotate the key, flick the switch, or burp the garlic pizza you just ate directly into the face of your hot date. But for some reason, turning off your computer is this complicated ordeal. I mean, arguably it isn't difficult to click start, then shut down, or just tap the button on your chassis. But instead of turning off instantly, your PC always goes through some kind of rigmarole that can last for minutes before it finally powers down. Well, hold on a minute, Linus. Why can't I just hold the button for five seconds or flip the switch at the back to force an instant shutdown? Well, it turns out that there is a method to the madness. You see, when you click that shut down button, your computer goes through a series of steps that are primarily designed to protect your data. Killing the power abruptly while you have unsaved work on your screen means that that work is probably lost for good. And even though some modern programs have autosave features, they are far from perfect. So one of the delays you might encounter is the PC prompting you to save anything that you might have open, like a Word document or an image that you're editing. But there are also less evident things going on in the background. Chief among these is that your operating system sends signals to running programs and services that it's time to power down. So it tells these programs to wrap up whatever it is they're doing, kind of like a parent trying to get their hyperactive kids to lie down for the evening. This is important because these programs and services may be in the middle of writing data to your disk. And this could be anything from a program update to a file download to a registry key being modified. So there's a common theme here then. You run the very real risk of data corruption if you just power off your computer without warning. It's a little bit like yanking a cake out of the oven before checking if it's done. Just like that cake might not be anything that you'd want to eat, the half-written data might not be anything that your computer can actually use. And because of the way that some computer drives and file systems work, you can learn more about those up here, you might not only corrupt whatever data was being written at the time of power down, you might also damage other files that are in a cache or a nearby physical location on your device. Fortunately, the file system used by modern versions of Windows called NTFS has a feature called journaling. Essentially, that means that it keeps a log of data changes to reduce the risk of corruption. However, problems can still occur if you don't shut your computer off properly, hence the disk check messages that you sometimes get when powering your system back on after a power outage or similar. Bringing us to one of the biggest reasons that people force a system reset. System updates that seem to take an eternity when you just need to wrap up some work and go to sleep. Well, there is a reason that your screen explicitly tells you not to turn off the power. During a typical power loss, you're likely to lose a little bit of unsaved work. But turning off your PC during an update can result in problems that will prevent the system from even booting back up such as corrupted, half-written registry files or system files. So I would even suggest that plugging your computer into a UPS or making sure that you have a fully charged laptop battery during updates isn't a bad idea. Basically, the moral of the story is that unless your computer is hopelessly frozen and you have no choice but to completely kill the power, make sure you turn your system off properly. It may take a little more time, but trust me, it's a lot easier than having to reinstall Windows or try to recover a save game that you've dumped 500 hours into. Really? That's funny, Dennis? You think that's fucking funny?
Do you often find yourself trying to control two computers at once and getting confused, like which keyboard and which mouse goes with which? Well, Synergy is the solution for you. Synergy is a software tool that, sorry, I'll stop that now, solves the problem of having two or more keyboards and mice. You see, with Synergy, you can share just a single mouse and keyboard across multiple computers and multiple screens. So there's no more messing around when you have to switch from your, you know, your video editing workstation to your uh, development workstation. And its features include clipboard sharing, dragging and dropping files between computers, custom hotkeys, and more. Synergy is available in basic and pro versions, with the latter including SSL encryption to secure the data sent between the machines. And they're offering a 50% discount to TechQuickie viewers. Just click on the link in the video description to check it out. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked, you can hit that button. But if you liked, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out our other channels. Uh, leave a comment with video suggestions. Subscribe. Did I... I started doing the LTT intro. Well, whatever, it doesn't really matter.